You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's sending me on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at another Let's Play episode of Violet Memoir Oscar's Path. So I'm playing the latest build, y'all, and it looks like uh, Lee got a big update. So yeah, we'll be delving more into Lee in the future. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you were up, and let's -a go. Let's -a go. What was that? Just... Yeah, okay. That uncomfortable posture he wore while Nathan grilled him about this has returned and it's hard to ignore the guilt in my chest. Oh, one second. Did it not... Hey, y'all, it looks like it didn't save. Hey, that's fucking weird. Um, let's do... Oh. Yeah, what the hell, y'all? That's weird as fuck. Okay. There. Okay. Okay. There we go. Alright, here we go. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Okay. All three of us? Alright. Oscar wouldn't mind. Or just you. I think the bed might be a little crowded if we all squished onto it. If Oscar said that, I would have assumed he was just teasing me like he usually does, but someone's beaming with a genuine smile. I truly believe he just wants to cuddle. Not that we can at the moment. I want to ask someone about the necklace and everything I learned about Oscar last night. About his brother and everything he told me that he's never told anyone else about it. Not even Selwyn. Not even his friend who he's known much longer than me. My phone buzzes in my hand once more. You like him, right? Of course. He's really fun to be around. I wasn't meaning like that. Oh, uh, maybe? I'm not sure. He doesn't really seem like the kind of guy who'd really go for that. He just nods with understanding. It's moments like this that I wish I could hear his voice. His laugh is soothing, I bet his voice would be perfect for reassurance. But he does his best through text. He really enjoys spending time with you. I've never seen him bring anyone else to practice before. He doesn't normally care to bring people he just wants to sleep with. It's like he somehow picked up on that little insecurity that was still nagging the back of my head. I think you're good for him. He's my closest friend and he means the world to me, but he never wants, but he never wants to get serious about things. He might listen to you, though. I knew he would the moment he saw you together. Is that why you pushed me through the door after we got in, after he got into a fight with Coach? He just gives me a meek nod with an apologetic smile that's only complimented by his bashful by the bashful blush of his cheeks. He's too adorable to feel mad at that I want to. If I can help someone, I do everything I can. I just didn't think Oscar had so much going on with how chilly he seemed when he first met. Maybe it's good for all of us to take a break here. I just need to. Oh wait, I totally forgot to bring any, anything to swim in. Oh, I figured you might forget, so I snuck a little something from your place as I left. Oscar's voice is right next to my ear, and it's much huskier than normal, especially as he slides something into my hand. He doesn't do anything more besides pull away and move towards one of the lockers, but I can already feel the heat racing to my head. Thank you, y'all. Water time. Hmm. There we go. Much better. Okay. Without a moment's notice, he starts pulling off his shirt and I'm forced to look away, focusing on what's in my hand or else I don't know if I'd be able to stop myself from taking a peek. Oscar's chuckling only fuels the burning in my cheeks. I told you, man, if I, <laughs> I don't mind if you look. What's the point of all this if no one else gets to see? Someone's seen it more than enough times. Why don't you have a turn? Uh, um... Hey, dude, it's okay. I'm just messing with you. You can turn around. I'm already dressed. There's a bit of hesitation in me to turn around like this is all one trap. But Oscar, said, but Oscar said he'd never do anything without my consent, and if I can trust him with this... What, if I can trust him with this, what can I trust him with? What can't I trust him with, I think you mean. And I do trust him. Oh, nice! I turn around, and just like he said, he's already in his, in his speedos while I'm still just standing around, fully dressed, feeling awfully silly. It's hard to not notice just how tight his speedos were and just how much they're revealing, both in how much I can see and how much is being implied by that large bulge. I'm so distracted I wasn't even able to notice that Selwyn isn't even around anymore. I had been so lost in my head I didn't even hear him leave. He went off to do some more warm-up laps. He's worried for you, but I waved him off. Just make sure you give him a big smile to let him know you're alright. He walks over and rubs his claws through my head through the, my fringe of head fur. It's different from when Lee ruffles my hair, and when he does it, it feels demeaning, but with Oscar, it feels like electricity. Come on, get changed into that and we can get to start. We can get started. Don't worry, I won't drill you like one of the team. We can just swim and have a good time. Coach would probably prefer seeing me goof around anyway. Okay, um... Alright, alright, I, was, I wasn't gonna stare, but you look uncomfortable. I'll wait outside. Don't take too long, okay? I don't want Coach getting any ideas. 
With a guffaw, he waltzes out of the ball locker room like he just didn't, like he just didn't leave me in a, like he just, like he didn't just leave me to stew in the many thoughts and implications he just planted in my head. He's way too good at that. I'm able to get into the speedos in less than a minute, but it takes me several more to get the courage to leave the locker room. I've never felt so exposed before. Sure, I've done swimming before, but I always, but always in board shorts, not wearing something like this. I don't think anyone outside of my family has seen this much of my thighs before. It's such a strange thing to focus on, but I can't stop thinking about it. I half expected Oscar to take a peek to just to check if I'm doing all right, but he just patiently waits outside. The only indication I get is that he's still there is him yelling, is him, is him yelling to check if I was doing I was doing good after the initial two minutes. But as soon as I walk out of the changing room, there he is, leaning against the door, waiting for me. I half expected him to scan his eyes all over me, but. He makes no effort to check me out. He just keeps eye contact with me. Everything all right, man? You took a bit. Yeah, I've just uh, never worn a speedo before. Uh, it's uh, really embarrassing. Take a nail. Water time. Oh man, don't be embarrassed. You look really good. Trust me. You're more than a catch, all right. Despite how hot that makes my face feel, it does put my heart at ease a little. I've never been super self-conscious about my body, but when you're surrounded by people like Oscar and Selwyn, it's a little hard to not notice. Ooh, don't worry about the other guys. We've been to the pools a lot. We're used to it. We've seen much worse. We've seen much worse guys wear just as little. And trust me, you're never hard on the eyes. Thanks. Anytime. Now let's hurry up. I bet Selwyn's getting bored and doing laps without Coach yelling at him. I thought he would have been kidding, but as we walk around the pool towards the relatively empty far end, my ears are introduced to the terrifying, booming voice that the crocodile can provide. Anderson, your dive is getting sloppy again. I told you to keep practicing it over the summer. No one makes any fuss or surprise about it. There's only a curt nod as the bear he was yelling at gets back onto the diving board. Coach is real intense. A bit of an ass, but don't tell him I said that. He's good at what he does, though. It doesn't sound like you two get along much. Us? We're fine. He just overthinks things and tries to make problems out of nothing. He seemed pretty serious about how big you are. Are, are swimming not very muscular? Are swimmers not very muscular? Not like me. There's always muscle that comes with this, but I'm much larger than the preferred size. Shouldn't you? Hey, come on. I thought we were going to try and enjoy ourselves. Not stress about things. Let's do that, man. I want to show you a good time. That okay? Yeah, alright. We've had enough stress for a lifetime. That's my guy. Come on, someone's staring at us now. It's been a long time since I've been in a pool. Whenever I wanted to go swimming, I just used—I used to just go to the beach with Marcus. Haven't done that since middle school, though. And I'll admit, though, it feels nice to float in the water again. Couldn't really do that at the beach. Then, at the beach, I quickly found out I didn't have stand a chance in the water compared to these two. They had a little race to start and completely blew me out with no chance of redemption. Not that Selwyn fared much better. He was quick, but Oscar's on a whole different level. That must be why there's an aquatics and non-aquatics division. If someone as talented as this lion stood no chance against an otter, even if that otter is one of the best on the team, on the highest level of competition, it would just be unfair. But with Selwyn back to work on his strokes, that left Oscar's attention fully on me, though he always checked up on his friend to make sure everything was alright. You two are crazy. Yeah, but good isn't the point, but being good isn't the point. I just like being here, in the water. I wouldn't be anywhere else. There's no stress or hassles here. Just paradise. To emphasize this point, he dives into the water and circles me like a shark to his prey. He even lightly tugs at my tail. But it isn't until he grabs my hips and starts pulling, starts pulling down that I realize I'm going under with him. I'm not afraid, though. Despite everything that happened with the water yesterday, it's hard to be scared of it when I'm around Oscar. I know he wouldn't let anything happen to me. Then, I'm submerged and disconnected from the rest of the world. I can't even see Selwyn doing his laps in, in the lane next to us. But I can see Oscar right in front of me with that, with that same large smile he always has. There's an energy in it that he doesn't that he doesn't usually have. I've seen it before, though. Back in that nightmare, that trip, or whatever that was. Back when we swam through that flooded hallway. It's like the mask is completely gone. He looks totally raw. An emotional vulnerability that he doesn't show anywhere else. He's just so open. I reach out my hand and expect him to interrupt it, but he doesn't. He lets it slide against his face, his dense fur slick from the water. My hand travels down to his head until I find the cord that connects to his necklace. I follow that down until that teardrop is between my fingers and I can tell he's watching it too. 
He wraps a hand around my own, and I'm ready for him to pull it away, but he doesn't. He just lays his own. He just lays his on top. Looking at his eyes, there's a sadness that wasn't there moments ago, and I know exactly what he's thinking about now when he looks like this. I know what he's feeling. I know it all too well. Those sparkling eyes that shimmer with such breathtaking beauty that I bet the ocean feels jealous. But I swear, if it wasn't for the water hiding them, I have a feeling I could catch them getting a little misty. But I get it now. The water is his place where he escapes all that. Sometimes I wish I had a place like that, but maybe it's a good thing I didn't. I know if I had somewhere that I felt like I could run away from everything that haunted me, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't want to leave, ever. But I have to leave here. The lungs are finally reaching their limit. Oscar notices too, because he swiftly wraps me up in his eyes and we sh wraps me up in his arms and we shoot back up to the top like a torpedo. I'm shocked we don't rocket out of the water and just arrive with an unceremonious splash. Nothing out of the ordinary for a pool. Not a soul notices other than a skinny lion who's leaning against the edge staring at us with a smile. It's no wonder why either. Oscar's holding me against his chest, and I can't deny that the warm isn't one of the best that the warmth isn't one of the best things I could want at the moment. He doesn't pay the lion any mind other than a little wink to which the lion's smile grows before he turns and dives back into the water, shooting back off to complete his training. Thanks for letting me take you here. No way, thank you for bringing me here. I really needed this. I think we all needed this. Today's been a big one, and no, and no one needs to deal with that. Not just today, this last week in general. The week's been pretty great in my books. I got to meet you, Lily, Papa Bear, Grumpy, all of you. Seems like a good trade in my book, don't you think? Yeah, it's hard to argue with that. Thanks for everything. He squeezes my shoulders, and without hesitation, I return the affection by throwing my arms around him and giving him a big hug. It throws him a little off his game for a second, leaving him a little stunned. It doesn't last long as he pulls me deeper into his warm embrace, but I can see peakings of pink in his ears. It's always strange seeing Oscar bashful. But it's something I'd give him anything to see over and over again. Look like you're rather cozy. You're really warm. There you go. Water time. Let me. Time. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Okay. You bet I am. Might be a little heater whenever you need it. You better keep that promise when we get to winter. <laughs> I'll be over whenever you want it. What other kind of heater can you take to bed with you? It's hard to not laugh, but even as he flips the tables on me and I can feel my own cheeks flushing, this fun, fun time is more overdue. Selwyn's training doesn't last much longer, and he's joining us in the swimming and swimming about. Soon, we're the only ones left playing around in the pool as the session comes to an end and the members of the swim team slowly disappear. All good things but end, eventually. I'm the first to throw in my towel, but the others are quick to follow up on finish, even if Oscar looks like he could spend the rest of his life in there. But any annoyance or disapproval doesn't show on his face. Not that I think he not that I think he would have shown that regardless. He heads off first to take a shower while I chat with the Selwyn, who's been looking eager to chat to me privately since I got here. To call it a chat is a little generous, but he mostly just wanted to catch up on the day. It's hard to say no to someone as excitable as him, but he listened intently and his and his facial and his face uh, spoke louder than any words he could have any words could have. Eventually, he was caught up to speed on everything that happened, but he wasn't surprised to hear that Oscar avoids those he slept with. If anything, he looks a little guilty. It makes sense, it makes sense that Selwyn would know. It's probably come up numerous times, if not for the fact that the Otter has a rule to never sleep with his friends. But Selwyn reassured me that he knows that Oscar really enjoys my company as a friend. At least that's what I gathered from what he was trying to signal to me. We head to the locker room. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely Bronze Tier patrons. Thank y'all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our Silver Tier patron, Cade Silvermoon. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. And thank you to our Gold Tier patron, Amr. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to our Ultimate Tier anyway. If y'all want to get your names in the credits and get access to our Not Safe for Work contents, as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye